my grandfather did the best he could to protect me from my mother because my mother liked to beat her kids. You know how frustrating that it is to th believe when you're a child that your parents don't love you? I was 15 when my mother passed. And my sister began to take care of me and my other two sisters. And like my sisters and them always teased me. They always told me they didn't want me. And I had heart problems when I was born. Never smoked a cigarette. Never drank a drop of alcohol. Due to a stroke and two heart attacks, I could no longer work. I went to the hospital, got a pacemaker, a defibrillator, and that was the end of my physical labor career. You know, my grandfather did the best that he could, and then he passed away, and it was a free for all. My mother even told me one time, Your protector's no longer here. Now, what are you going to do? I had my first son at the age of 19. We stayed with my sister. My sister gave me my first hit of cocaine. America can be very rough to people that are uh, homeless. Try sleeping outside on concrete sidewalks in the wintertime when it goes down below 32 degrees. The last time my mother ever put her hands on me, I just turned 16, it was right before the school year started, and she went to slap me for something. I grabbed her by the arm, and I pinned her against the car, and I was like, you will never, ever hit me again. I didn't know how to live without my children because uh, the whole time when my mother was gone, I wanted somebody I can love and who would love me back. I was lost and I was lonely and I was alone. I felt all that. I felt the pain. It was rough. It was hard. I slept, I slept in places where I never thought I would sleep at. When a mission or a shelter closes, you're in a panic mode. Most homeless people are pretty smart people. And when they're living on the street, you have to make decisions momentarily. When I came to the streets at 18 years old, I had long hair, goatee, and my grandfather's trench coat on. And I just turned to drugs and alcohol yet again. It seemed to be the only way I fit in. I belong somewhere. I was ashamed. I didn't want to be the way I was, but I was the way I was. Up until this day, I still struggled. I still struggle with the pain and the hurt and the drugs and and I get tired and I'm tired. And I'm just so tired of being high.